oh, I might have to write to the EU and ask for an extension. <laughs> No, another mad week in politics. Uh, the government finally won a vote on the Brexit bill, but then uh, lost one over the timetable. <laughs> See, huge achievement followed by a crushing disappointment. It's a bit like if you got a knighthood, then found out Prince Andrew was presenting it. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, hey, it looks like we're heading for an election. Everyone pumped about an election. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the smart money, is there any smart money? Uh, Says so we have an election by Christmas. Ah, oh, Christmas. That magical time when we all pretend miracles can happen, thanks to an old man with a white beard that no one really believes in. Yeah. Good luck! Uh, and finally, America's been celebrating the first ever all female spacewalk. Yay! Look at them. Thrilled with themselves, and rightly so. Uh, President Trump, for it is he, uh, spoke to the astronauts in a phone call. And uh, now, when he got some of his facts a little wrong, uh, one of the female astronauts very gently uh, corrected him. And, well, you know how much Trump loves it when women correct him. So, uh, watch this clip. Can you see him sending a, a very subtle message to the female astronauts? So, here they are. They're on the phone. They're chatting. We don't want to take too much credit because there have been many other female space walkers before So she's, she's correcting this him there. The first yeah. time that been now, two women is he outside. flicking the finger? <laughs> he is, he's flicking the finger. So rude. Hey, let's get some guests on. Later, we'll be meeting Aquaman himself, the mighty Jason Momoa will be here. And we'll have music from Camila Cabello. But first, he's one of my favorite comedians back of the road with a new stand-up tour, Humanoid. Please welcome back Ross Noble! Oh, yes. Hello! Oh. Humanoid. 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 Yeah, humanoid. Yeah, humanoid. 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 Yeah. Humanoid. Humanoid. Uh, for nearly a decade, this British actress has ruled our TV screens as the mother of dragons in Game of Thrones. Now she's here to tell us about her new film, Last Christmas. It's Amelia Clark, everybody! Oh. And last year, this actress took home a Golden Globe and an Oscar for her moving performance in If Beale Street Could Talk. Now she's kicking butt as Sister Knight in Watchmen. Please welcome Regina King! Yay! Yeah. 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 Woo! So good to see you! Long time no see. I know, yes, it's been forever. Um, I, I love that your hair matches your suit. Yes, I planned that. <laughs> yeah, that is clever. Very clever. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello. hello. <laughs> Speaking of hair, there's going to be a lot of hair on this couch. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Gets here. Actually, that is a lot. I mean, yes, yeah. yeah I... I mean, when he gets here and I'm here as well, <laughs> backstage, the hair ladies, their hands, the disrespect of the injury. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, uh, the last time you were here, you, you were here to tell us about If Beale Street Could Talk, and then off you went, and we saw, honestly, I felt like a member of my family was winning an Oscar when I saw you up there winning your Oscar. Congratulations Thank on your you. Oscar. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All of it is such a blur in a lot of ways, you know? I, yeah. I just remember being there and thinking, even though I know the order of the awards, I'm like, this is happening now. Mm -hmm. I'm first up. Okay, we're first up. Okay. No. And I just looked at my mom like, who is happening? <laughs> 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 and that just, it's still surreal. And just, I felt so much love in that room. Yeah. I did. I really did. Imagine being one of the other actresses who had to sit there as a loser for hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, first off, it's great. Yes, but, yeah. <laughs> like, it's a long evening if you don't win. Well, you know what? But then, you know, you, the pressure's off and they do have a bar. There. Hello? <laughs> no one's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> but now, talking at the bar, you took your mother's a date, but she wasn't that interested in all the amazing parties and stuff. Uh, no. We went to uh, the Vanity Fair has a big party every year. And we went and I'm just like, oh, my mom, she's going to get to meet mm -hmm. more of the actors yeah. and um, everyone here. And she's like, yeah, I don't know why you guys like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> and so uh, the driver took her home and then we went to Beyonce and Jay-Z's. 
party. Super fancy party. Now, <laughs> did you see Amelia at that party? I, but is that okay? That mm-hmm. party is like amazing. Yeah, right. it was amazing. It's in, it's basically in a car park. But it's obviously been re It's not a car park, but it they essentially power wash is. it. They, they power, power wash it. it. <laughs> yeah. And they cover it and make it look wonderful. And they say, this is the last picture you'll take. As you go down, that way, when you yeah. go down the stairs, they have a sign that says that way. You're like, oh, okay, no phones, no social media, no nothing. And then you get in and you're like, oh, that's why. Why? That's why. Yeah. This is like hallowed ground. Yes. yes. Wow, Seriously. I, I did see Jason there. That's why I met Jason there. Oh, Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. Yeah, oh, that Jason. Okay. The other one with the great hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Jason was there, but presumably you got to meet uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yeah, so I did not expect to see them in, you know, in the flesh. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was just like, oh my God, I'm invited. <laughs> How this happened? They let us in. Um, and then, yes, I was there and and Queen Bey came up to me and obviously looked at me like, oh, this is the, I'd like to talk to you. And I just did not respond in the way that I was thinking she thought that I might respond. As in, she th- she obviously came up and was like, this will be cool. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Too many drinks in, started crying. Didn't go out. <laughs> I mean, like, literally eyes welling up, being like, I can't handle this. It's too intense. But she is queen. She, yes, she I mean, it she, beautifully. Yeah, she's so... But, but yeah. also, I'm guessing... Probably everyone she meets bursts into tears. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she just thinks it's the whole seventh world. Seventh of the night. Just, yeah, you know, here we go. Just being yeah. like, hello there, I'm just doing it. She just thinks the whole world's insane. No, exactly. exactly. We sure, are. We are I'm insane. Not you're for her. insane. Thank you. It was you. the correct response. Crying in a, We've all cried in car parks. We have we've all cried. All cried. <laughs> well, that is so true. We've all cried in a car park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, listen, we start tonight uh, with Gina King's new TV show, Watchmen. It is terrific. It's out on Sky Atlantic on Mondays at 9pm and on Now TV. And uh, Watchmen, a lot of people were familiar with the, the graphic uh, novels Novel. and, and the, the film. But this series introduces a whole bunch of new characters, and you're one of those. A bunch of new characters. Um, Damon Lindelof, who's a creator, he is very... Uh, adamant about making sure everyone knows that this is not a sequel, it is not a a remake. Um, Dave Gibbons, who's a big supporter of the show, he calls it an extrapolation. My goodness. We haven't had one of those before. Yeah. Yeah. I like that word, extrapolation. (laughs) It sounds dangerous. And dirty. And dirty. (laughs) Let me get my extrapolation. I'll be back in a minute. (laughs) So uh, who who are you in, in the show? I play Sister Knight, who, well, Angela Abar. Um, she is a police officer in the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and um, a, something tragic happened to the Oklahoma Police Department that forced them to have to police um, the city um, wearing a disguise so that people would not know that they are who the cops are. And um, my disguise is Sister Knight. And, She's just a badass, and mm-hmm. the, I don't have a, a cape. I have a cape skirt nice. that just like billows. Nice. Yeah. And did you get because you're creating this character? You know, because the look wasn't in the novel or anything. So were you part of it, kind of going, "I what I like is." <laughs> Um, maybe a bit, maybe a bit of that. Um, we went through a lot of iterations of the costume before we landed. Amazing. It's wild, it's right? So good, yeah. Can I just say, mm. I am so excited for this show. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. I, I bet it is. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. But because it, this is, like, is that you all the time? Or do some days you go, oh, I can't be Yeah, bothered. I'm just not going to show up. <laughs> um, no, it is me. I'll all voice the, it later. All the time, um, except for there's some scenes, the... Um, some of the stunt scenes, the sequences are designed to just have uh, my stunt double and I kind of come in and out effortlessly because she's a gymnast and she can do like the cool flips nice. and things like that. And, yeah. you know, I'll come in but the, and, fights the run are, and the fights yeah. and, and she in some of the fights, she, you know, I, I'm, I'm not landing on the ground yet. <laughs> I'm not do that. Don't have anything to prove. I'm 48. You know. I'm an officer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can break it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you get to say when the stunt double comes in, or do they, or is it like just after lunch? Can you go, go on, do it now? <laughs> um, sometimes I wish the stunt double could come in for some of the sex scenes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Oh, we but saw, I, but we I, but saw I, your I, husband. I, but my husband is, is, is pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, you don't want to stuff double in there. Yeah, yeah. i Look them up if you don't know. But someone who's uh, going to join us on this couch... Jason knows him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is you as Angela explaining why the police have gone undercover. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, one of the great things uh, about, uh, you know, for stars is the support of friends and family. And one of your big supporters is your Uncle Willie. Yeah. Uh, no, he, I mean, does he do this for everything? Because he's really looking forward to watching it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Does he do this for every show? For everything. Amazing. For everything. That's my, oh. my Uncle Willie, man. And you he's think, you think, that's nice of him to do that. No, he went further. He held, last, on Sunday, last Sunday, he held a special <laughs> viewing party. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> At, at, where did he have it? He had it in... It game. It's a place called Game Time. My uncle is like the mayor. You know, he... he, he, he if, you, if you need something, you go to Uncle Willie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he just... He's so proud of his nieces, my sister and I. And he just shouts it with his heart and with his voice all the time. And, you know, I wish everyone could have an Uncle Willie. And I think a lot of people have their version of Uncle Willie. Well, Amelia Clark's mother, I would say, is your Uncle <laughs> Willie. <laughs> <Uncle Willie. laughs> uh, is Amelia's, mo Am Am Amelia's mom's here, is she? Yeah, oh so is mom. Oh, there, sorry. <laughs> uh, the last time you were here, you were telling us that when you did the, the Han Solo movie, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. your mom went a bit overboard. Well, yeah, this is it. I mean, mom's here, she knows the story, but basically she came on set one day and it was the day that we were getting cyber scanned for the toys and all of that. There's a lot of merchandise for the Star Wars movie. And so mom was, I was busy doing that and didn't, wasn't looking at what she was doing. And she'd befriended the, you know, the head of merchandising for all of Star Wars and was like, <laughs> Would I? Would you mind? Would it be all right? Does my, does it, is her face on anything cool? Can we get that? Can you get it? This is the address. Thank you so much. And then, and then I was away. And then this, this is Amelia's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, there's like only one of these things and mum got them made specifically. And mum was like, no. No. <laughs> But, oh dear. But that's your mom. It's your mom's job to love everything you do. Yeah. But you, you were yeah. saying how your friends don't, they don't even pretend. No, no. When it started as like, we can't afford to, to like stream the Game of Thrones on, on Sky. We don't have the money. Mm -hmm. We can't, sorry, Amelia. And then it was like, yeah, we're going to try and illegally download it or whatever. <laughs> and then it got to the point where it was like season eight. And I'm like, guys, I'm going to have a screening of the last episode. And they were like, so we have... Seven and three quarter of a season like <laughs> 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 <This> Sunday. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, yeah. yeah but it's yeah. a little rude. I mean, they do. No, most, yeah, some of them do. Which is some of them don't, really. I don't know. It's me. They're like, well, it's, you know. <laughs> Your friends are just sat there going, look at her, <laughs> pissing about on dragon. Lovely <laughs> 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 Yeah. Because uh, presumably, Ross, your daughters, they, they've been too young, they've never seen... Have they ever seen you do anything? Uh, yeah, they don't fully get what stand-up is. But your daughters amuse you. Yeah. Is it your younger daughter who has the thing with the, the fowls? Speech, yes, the speech impediment. Is it a speech impediment? It sort of is. I mean, it's funny. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we should... We should get her checked out, but it is <laughs> so funny. Not funny because we're laughing at her. It's just... So what she does, right, she mixes up the sound er uh, and or, oh, and she says or oh, instead of er. Uh. So, like, it's, it's confusing. Like, if she's talking about how much she loves horses, then obviously people think she wants to be a funeral director because <laughs> she says hearse instead of horse. And, um, and, no, but the best one... So we're in a restaurant, and she's got this little plastic monkey... And uh, I turned round to her and I just said, um, I'll carry him. Used the wrong gender pronoun, didn't I? I said him, and it's not a him. She said to me, in a restaurant, at the top of her voice, she went, Daddy, my monkey is a whore. <laughs> <laughs> But no, then, I just went, don't say that. My monkey is a sex worker. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hey, listen, we're moving on to Amelia Clark's film. Uh, Amelia Clark's film is called Last Christmas. It's out on the 15th of November. And, and it is a proper, full-on Christmas... Christmas movie. No, honestly, I went to see it and I came yes. out and I was very surprised. That, oh, <laughs> where's the snow? Where, where's the, the snow? Where are the lights? Yeah. Um, and now, it's, it's Last Christmas, and obviously there's yes. a very famous uh, Wham! song, George <laughs> Last Christmas. Yep. And 
it is actually based on that song. Yeah. So it is. It's written by Emma Thompson and Greg Weiss, her husband, um, and is is based on the song. That's exactly right. And there's, but it's not just that. They've got the whole wham George Michael backup. They do. Yes. There's a lot of George Michael in the movie, and then also as the credits roll, there is a as of yet unheard. Um, George Michael's song that he wrote right before he died, which oh, is wow. amazing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then it, and then it's just filled with lots of George Michael. Uh, so tell us, who are you in this film? So I play a young lady called Kate, who, when we find her, she's a little bit uh, lost, confused and dazed and a bit drunk and a bit <laughs> sort of sleeping around a bit and a bit just early 20s, no idea what she should be doing next, but kind of stuck in this rut of um, working in a Christmas shop that kind of started as a Saturday job and now she's 365 days of the year there. Hmm. Wow. Yes, um, it's a lot. And then she meets uh, a man played by Henry Golding from Christmas yes. Asians. Yes, she meets an insanely attractive man on the streets of London. Um, it, it can happen. It is. <laughs> it is possible. Yes. And, and um, so they meet and he, um, he brings out um, a side of her that helps her kind of grow into someone who's a little bit less chaotic and um, it's a kind of, it's a, it's a very big story about acceptance, about self-acceptance mm. and that's one of the biggest journeys that she goes on. Well, we've got a clip, uh, we've got a clip, uh, this is you and Henry at the end of your first date. Right. Regina, I, I don't know if you've ever been on a London bus, but all the drivers are really patient like that. Really? <laughs> they're, they're, they'll just let you finish yeah. the chat. They, yeah, they're not yeah, in a rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially at Christmas time. Oh, Christmas time. Yeah. The passenger's totally yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys actually shoot that during uh, the Christmas? Yeah. Because you guys go all out with mm -hmm. the decorations for Christmas. I love it. I was <laughs> here this time, la year before last, and... Um, I was just like, yeah. it was like New York Fifth Avenue times 10. Yeah. I, I just, because I love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I love, love Christmas. So just watching that clip and seeing the lights yeah. in the back, I was like, they really shot that here. But don't you do it? You do the, you're a bit of a freak. I mean, don't you have a big party every year? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a control enthusiast. <laughs> 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 I have a tree trimming party, and um, you. What is a tree trimming? Oh, okay, party? so a tree trimming is when people come over yeah. and help you decorate your tree oh, for Christmas. And you, oh, I had to add you with scissors. Oh, You know, sometimes some of the you know yeah. the branches are you know you shape yes. it up a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, but. Um, so I send a picture to everyone invited of my color palette. Oh, wow. Because the... The, the, <laughs> the hair matching the suit is not an accident. Yes. Yes. The, the, the price of entry is to bring a um, ornament. Yeah. You know, just because oh. it's, you know, a part of piece of you here. Mm -hmm. But if the ornament doesn't go with my color palette... <laughs> So yeah, yeah. But I, I'm providing drinks, I'm providing so does food. The, does the ornament go or does the friend go for life? <laughs> the, the friend has a chance to come back next oh, okay, Christmas. Right, right. Right. Um, yeah. But they take their ornament with them. And you listen to Christmas carols yes. and you've got the whole thing. Yes, yeah. but you know, we listen to like, you know, the like, the soulful Christmas yes. carols, yes, you know, yes, like yes. Temptations yes. Christmas carols. Okay, like a part of a party, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you were saying for filming this at Christmas time. Yes. Uh, but like, I don't, as a human being, <laughs> I don't go to Covent Garden or Soho at oh, Christmas. Oh, goodness so me. So work, yeah. like how did you do those outside scenes? Well, it was meant, it was, it was really boring because the first month of filming, we shot reverse splits, which no one on my crew had ever heard of. You start at midnight, and you finish at midday, you're perpetually in this kind of hangover state of like, I've just woken up and I'm st we're still here and it's the lights just coming up. But it was in order to, because we're shooting mm -hmm. at Christmas time in Covent Garden and Regent Street and the centre of London. Yeah. But when you start at midnight, there's the office parties are just leaving. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of drunk people wandering yes. around the streets of London. Did you ever have people like screaming your name oh, in the middle of a take? But it wasn't even that. It was more like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, they'd be repeating our lines and then we were shooting on one of the arcades and they'd just hang out the window and be like, you're not very good. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a 
happy Christmas! <laughs> or they would just be so drunk. I don't know if you've ever had that, that drunk friend where you're like, get in the cab, it's time you went home, and they've lay like cemented to the to this pavement. They can't leave and they're just sort of swaying a little bit. So we shot quite close to one of these clubs on the embankment and literally it was this one shot and we just had to get it and the light was changing and all this stuff and this guy was just like, nope, I'm not leaving. <laughs> we, were like, we can't shoot it anywhere else. And he was just kind of like, didn't know where he was trying to get a taxi. <laughs> we had to change. But people, <laughs> but people don't, like, you don't want people to find this out, but like, because people get paid off. You know, like if you get like a loud. I don't drunk... know that we did that. Oh, well, I better not say that because that's. Yeah. If you want to make a bit of extra money, turn up when there's. A... <laughs> no. No, no, no. This is so true. It no, no, no. is so true. true. You're giving away a terrible yeah, secret. It's a terrible secret. But I have no if idea. you see like a, a film crew out and about, you just go. <laughs> You and, know they'll, what? and they'll just go, look, here's some money, go away. Thank oh, you very goodness. much. And then... <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe we did that. I, I disagree I with that. I think it depends on the producers and directors that you're working with. Oh. Yeah, oh. I directed an episode of This Is Us um, that it was a Halloween episode. Yeah. And this mm. one guy was doing that. He kept blasting his music in his house and it was messing up the yeah. shot. Sorry so about you know that. what I did? <laughs> I moved that damn set down the street and I was like, we are yes, not paying him anything. Yes! We are shooting Yeah! 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 That's America, though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so try that shit over here. Oh, try that over here. You can say shit. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> But now, talking of, of talking of uh, being abroad for Christmas, was it in Dublin where you discovered there's a, a Christmas tradition? Yeah, there is. Yeah, in, there's, a, there's a shopping centre uh, in Dublin where they they put the Christmas scene out, put the nativity scene out, and then they add another character. I think I don't know if it's like it must be like a Advent thing, surely. Another. Yeah, yeah, they move. The, the wise men move. Hey? It's the nativity. They as went <laughs> on different <laughs> days of year. Well, uh, no, they actually, because then as the wise men are moving towards, it's a thing. Don't oh, so did they start down at Greg's and then today they're at the other <laughs> side? They're outside the Argos. Just, just passing pigeon cards. Yeah, I see. Oh, see, so you've moved. Is that. What is that? It is. I'm going red now, very fast. No, no. My mum's here. She knows. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no room for uh, nativity, nativity figures. Her nativity will just be a full Star Wars thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, but yeah, so uh, shopping centre. And I'm walking through the shop and saying, you know, I'm on tour. I'm kind of bored. I'm just wandering around, killing time. And I see this very sparse nativity scene. <laughs> and, uh, and I look at it and, and the perspex finishes there. I think, right. So I go into a shop and I bought, you know those shops that sell knickknacks for nanas? You know, they're like yeah. little figurines. So I bought a meerkat about that big and he's sort of up like that looking and I sneaked it into the nativity scene. So there's all the, so there's the figures and there's a meerkat and he was looking like that. We've got a picture of the thing. There we go. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Cat looks far more invested in the whole thing than Joseph and Mary. It really does. Uh, I mean, What's he, happening over here? He, yeah, he didn't, bring, didn't bring a gift, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, I sat there. For, I must have sat there for about two hours, just watching people walking past. And just, well, what the hell's that? Yeah. Cat doing? <laughs> and then uh, at one point, the meerkat slipped because it was not very uh, firm on the foot. At one point, the meerkat slowly started to lean towards <laughs> Jesus, and I genuinely thought it was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> the meerkat starts moving in like that, and it fell over. So I walked. Walked over to stand it up, and just as I put my hand in, the security guard saw me and he went, Stop nicking the Christmas display! And I, got, I got chased out of the shopping centre and I, I never got me meerkat back. So. No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rob Noble, everybody, is on tour, back on tour. Yep. Uh, the show is called Humornoid. 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 It's, it's humornoid. Yeah, it's like humornoid. It's because like, it was like humanoid is a thing, and I went, human sounds a bit like humour, I'll call it humanoid, and I'll have like kind of a space theme, but of course it just sounds like the word hemorrhoid. And that's, <laughs> that's, I've been doing all the press for it, and people are just going, why have you called your show the hemorrhoid show? Uh, and it kicks off next spring. Uh, tickets are on sale now, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And it's, I, I guess because you do so much improvisation, yeah. uh, and so much kind of happens on the night, is it, it's hard to describe. Yeah, that's the thing. It's become very fashionable now to have a stand-up show that's about a thing. 
but mine's not about a thing and you won't learn anything and it has no through line. It's just a couple of hours of me talking absolute bollocks. <laughs> now, you did bring a clip, but there's an explanation... Yeah. There's because, a story behind the clip. Because basically the clip is so long, trying to select a bit of my stand-up that doesn't rely on so many different bits. So this clip, which might not make any sense, is, uh, is from a show a couple of weeks back. Um, I've got this uh, visually impaired fella that, uh, that comes to the show a lot, right? And um, I was taking the mickey out of him because he always sits in the front row. He's visually impaired. Why? Why are you sitting in the front row? I asked him if he was like, could you see a little bit? No, completely blind, sit in the front row every time. And I said to him, I went, uh, I said, uh, how many times have you seen the show? And he went, never. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and then, Good answer, in fairness. Yeah. Yeah. So he sort of moved further back. So the last time he came to the show, he sat further back, and uh, I didn't know it was him. And so I'm standing on stage, and you can sort of see people down the front, and there's lights and stuff. But then there's just these flat, this like weird red light coming from under the chairs. And it really freaked me out. I was thinking, what is the... And I'm sort of, oh, so I thought somebody got like some weird watch or something. And it turns out his guide dog has got like a, a LED collar on. So I'm taking the piss out of this flashing red light and somebody else went, it's a guide dog. And the whole room just went, oh. <laughs> and then, so this, so I then, uh, you got to double down on these things. So I suggested <laughs> that his dog was possessed by the devil. And uh, it was a demon dog. And I think that's where this clip picks up. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, what a time to be... Very good. Uh, right, it's time for my next guest. Uh, he came fame as Carl Drago in Game of Thrones, and most recently he's been riding the waves as Aquaman, here to tell us about his new drama, See, It Is, Jason Momoa! <laughs> Come in, Medina Jason! I had so, many, so much love to give you from the oh, Alfred and my wife. Yeah. There's and so this many is Ross, Jason, Jason, Ross. It's like looking in a mirror, bro. It really is. <laughs> This is what is it? Oh, 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 oh. No, no, it's all good. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Hi. Hi. Hi, darling. Look, okay. Oh. Finally. Reunited with your wife. Yes. It was like it was meant to be. Uh, but we now discover you know everybody. Uh, you've met Regina as well. Yes. Yes. My wife. The McCoy, yes. yes. So many people say. We, we have six you. degrees. Yeah. Yes, going yes, on. Yes, yes. So well, also, you're both way. in the DC universe we now. We are now. Yes, Congratulations. And you know you. Yaya? Yeah, I know. I, I, I know Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know yeah. Yaya. <laughs> He's amazing. He is that a is euphemism? really is. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, your lookalike is here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is That's this is this is essentially what you would look like if you were chopped off at the knees and never went to the gym. Take this as a warning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. How annoyed you'd be on set. You went. You stunt doubles here, really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but now, uh, Jason and Emilia, you have seen each other since Game of Thrones. We you? have. Oh. Yes, Aww. we have. Every time I come to England, mm -hmm. I call my... Oh, yes. and in fact, I've just remembered. So, because this goes out, uh, we're taping this on a Thursday, so yes. uh, this goes out tomorrow night. Yes. yes. So, will you Tomorrow be... night, so when we, we won't be here, we'll be at my party. We'll be at her party. Her yeah. party? Yeah, Emilia's having a party. Are you going to Emilia's tonight? party? She hasn't asked yet. Do you want to? I'd love to come. There we are. <laughs> yeah. As long as, Sorted. As long as Jason this and I can see swap clothes and I turn up first. I am not oh, yeah. oh, 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 here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's me! Oh <laughs> Body double! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, how does that fit 
sure if this the fur is as wet as this coat is, but... <laughs> it, is it is also free. It's a bit damp. <laughs> <It's> a bit <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all for it. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> you're Aquaman. You can I deal with damp. Totally yeah. 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 That might be damp, but there's cat food in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Right. Uh, Jason Momoa, your new series is C. Uh, it's one of the first programs to run on uh, the new Apple TV+, Plus, starting on the 1st of November. Uh, so tell us all, who are you? What's going on? I play kind of what I did in Game of Thrones. He's a bit of a chieftain, except he's a father that's trying to um, protect his family. You know, we didn't quite make it there in Game of Thrones and have the baby. Spiritually, no. we did. Picture it like, yeah, yeah. spiritually we did, baby. We did. But now, <laughs> it's gonna you tried hard. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, wow. So it can Uninvited to the party. <laughs> we just, uh, we continue on where uh, it's 20 years later, I have children who are 17, and I'm trying to protect them from the world that it's 600 years in the future, and we all have lost our vision and so everyone is dealing off of senses and there's different tribes and there's about two And the million. population's been really yes, strong. Yes, down to like two million people and the earth survives and we don't. And so it's me trying to keep, my two children are born with, with sight and now it turns into trying to keep them alive. Well listen, we've got a clip, uh, this is from C and this is uh, you leading your people into battle. Ooh. Now, and I guess it's because of Game of Thrones and things. The TV is so epic, epic. now. There's no sense of it being a television show. Yeah. This, sure. yeah. I mean, they, Apple put everything in. They invested big on this one. And uh, they went to huge lengths to, to make this yeah. piece. Yeah. Um, and now, after in the, in the show, uh, and as tonight, you're back with a beard, fully bearded. Thank Jason you. Momoa, Thank you. Uh, because you did lose your beard, and the world lost its mind. <laughs> well, the... The plan, because I, 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 was go, I was going from C yeah. to Dune, and I had to fly straight to Jordan. I was like, I wanted, I wanted to have her shave me to tell the world and talk about plastic, you know, about single-use plastics and yeah. how we need to stop, because I just, you know, my children haven't seen my face. So wow. it was an important moment to go like, all right, I'm going to shave this. No better person to shave my beard than Amelia. We'll break the internet. And then Amelia couldn't do it because she had a thing, you know, and she's partying. Was, or something um, like that. Amelia. Oh, Amelia! I was in Covent Garden hey. pushing drunk people off my set. But you broke the internet without her. We did by shaving her face, but yes, it was supposed to be a. You know, yeah. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Hey, we've got a picture Sorry. of you. You do look remarkable. Wow. Look at you! Sweet! <laughs> but wasn't this. Did. But this is the thing where it was the same day as the Mueller report came out. And you were trending over <laughs> the <laughs> She's messed up. <laughs> yeah, that's a world uh, turned upside down. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> my children wanted the beard back. So did my wife. She's like, don't do that anymore. But, but at least I you got a good chin. I cut my hair once chin. and she's like, don't do that again. But you've got a good chin. Thank you. Because some beards are on because mm -hmm. they're hiding a tiny chin. All yes. right, it's Regina. I think we've heard enough. <laughs> Yak, yak. <laughs> We've heard plenty from you tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing you. Uh, uh, we must mention uh, Aquaman, because Aquaman, the, that was the last time you were here, was to talk about. And that's gone on. I think it's the most successful DC film of all time now. It's, yeah. It, yeah. It, broke, it broke a billion, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing some splish splash. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's back, presumably. Presumably, yes. We will we will be back. Um, it'll be probably a year from now, but yeah. I think, I, but I, are there scripts? Because it seems like you know. I was very excited after after this, and I wanted to. Uh, I spent some time writing with my partner, and we took it in and pitched it, and uh, wow. we're gonna we're mm -hmm. gonna be you know partnering up and. Yes. I'm just passionate about playing it. I so. love that. Uh, Ross Stone, also very big fan oh, of. Uh, God, such a mark, I can't even tell you. You're going to oh, be a fan of uh, yeah. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. need a bit of a, like, a dolphin trainer or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's my thing with films, right? There is no film ever made that can't be improved with a man riding a shark. 
just, that's just fact. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Jaws, it's a good film, but if when that shark had come out the water, a bloke had been on his back, it's already better. <laughs> Aquaman, you go, bloke riding a shark, and then you go, oh, two blokes riding sharks, it's already got twice as good. <laughs> Three men riding sharks, I'm thinking, this can't go on. Four men, five men, there's a hundred men riding sharks. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> And I've genuinely, I genuinely, mean, I've got, I do have some questions though. Can, uh -oh. you, can you tell me this, right? This is Sorry, like, this is like you being stuck in a bar sorry. now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas, it's Bob and Garden. Ross has just left yeah. the party. Yeah, with a man who's stolen your coat. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like a Christmas party. He's stolen your coat. I've got your coat. I've got some questions. <laughs> Um, because we no, because we know, does. we know Aquaman. He's the greatest swimmer, right? Okay. And we know that because in Justice League, are you familiar? He's uh, swimming in jeans. Yes. Yeah. Have you even tried walking around in damp jeans? <laughs> oh, it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm Aquaman. Exactly. That's the point. That's how good a swimmer he is, right? But here's my question, right? At the end of the film, Aquaman emerges. Why is he wearing shoes? Ooh. Oh, well, the, have you seen the shoes? The, the, the big... They go fantastic with the suit, though. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, seriously, it's a whole bro. Yeah, How can you not have a suit? I mean, seriously, bro. Is it? <laughs> How can no, you not have you know, fantastic shoes, shoes with yeah. your suit? They're incredible. I mean, like... They're incredible shoes, but I thought it might be... You know when you're on the beach and it's a bit pebbly? I thought it might be, I really want there to be a scene in Aquaman where you appear like that, out of the water, and you go, I am Aquaman. Oh, me feet, ha! <laughs> and then you just go, get me some shoes, and you go, that'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> shoes. That's why there's room for Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll do a bit of work on the screen. Yeah. 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 A how flashback. Are we, how are we going to yeah. explain the shoe? <laughs> and also, in the second one... Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, no, I'm just saying <laughs> Because, because, because Aquaman's name... Taxi for Noble! No, no. <laughs> uh, right, uh, it's time for music. The singer's breakout hit in 2017, Havana, became the most streamed song ever by a solo female artist. Here performing her new single, Liar, it is Camila Cabello! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, look. Oh. Uh, I, think, I think we have a... Fr I don't I know if there was... mean. Uh, Wait, I don't need to say more. Hi. Nice oh, to meet you. Oh, uh, my God. No, Amelia. Hi. Uh, nice Jason. Hi. Uh, nice Regina. to meet you. Regina. Oh. I'm sorry. I would just like to say, <laughs> I... I am the biggest Game of Thrones fan in the entire world. <laughs> and my heart, literally, there's a reason why I'm the only red wine on this table. And it's because I'm just freaking out. <laughs> oh. I literally, everybody, I'm such a fan of everybody here. But I, I went through a Game of Thrones, like literally finished all eight seasons in a month this year. Wow. wow. Do you know That's how, like. That's so impressive. Would you like to stroke Jason Momoa's coat? <laughs> Now, we should say uh, Liar is out now, but the album Romance, not out yet. Nope, not out yet. Is there a date? Soon. There is not, but coming very soon. Soon. Yep, yep, yep. Soon is the date. Yeah. Fans love to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine approaching Christmas it might come out. I, I don't know why I think that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Throw it out there. Throw it out there in the uh, yeah. uh, Listen, uh, lovely to have you, and I'll give you that stunning performance. It was absolutely gorgeous. Thank uh, you so much. Give me a look at Bayo, everybody. <laughs> Before we go, uh, just time for a visit to the big red chair. Uh, who's there? Hello. Hello. <gasps> now, because I met you before the show, I know yeah. your name is Sinead. Yes, it yes. is. There you go. Yes, I remembered that. I'm amazed <laughs> as well. <Very> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sinead. Uh, whereabouts in Ireland are you from? Uh, so I'm from County Down. <laughs> <laughs> It's nearly as good as New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly as good as New Zealand. County Down. County Down. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Okay. Northern Ireland. Okay. Okay. Northern uh, Ireland. I wouldn't even try, Regina. Just let this story wash over you. 
Oh, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> off you go today. Thanks very much. Pretty close um, to yeah. <laughs> So, yes, I was going to America for a summer for a work placement. Um, and I was having to find, obviously, somewhere to live. I was in New York, so New York being like London, very expensive. And the places I was finding were about 600, 700 pound. Uh, but then I came across this one place that was 99 quid for a month. And I thought, well, it's a bit cheap, but, you know, might be doable. Um, I had my own room, you know, there was a bathroom. But at the end of the like, advert, it said, lighthouse keeping duties. And I thought, oh my God, would I be living in a lighthouse? That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> so did some research, but thought, you know what, I have to do some exams. Like, do you have to do a course to be a lighthouse keeper? Oh my God. Um, I'm super excited, told my dad. He was super excited about it. Uh, my mum came over to read it. She goes, Auction Aid, you wouldn't be a lighthouse keeper. It's not lighthouse keeping duties. It's light housekeeping duties. <laughs> 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 I'm glad that was. I thought that was going to be a much worse story. I thought she was yeah, going to have sex. Started out I thought she was going to have sex with the guy who lived in the house. <laughs> yeah. and I thought light housekeeping. That's not a phrase I know, but it's just light housekeeping. A delightful new do? euphemism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you better keep this lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this, it sort of works, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that really is all we've got time for. If you'd like to have a go to the Red Show yourself and tell your story, you can go to this fire website at this very address. Please say you huge thank you to all of my guests. Camila Cabello! <laughs> Ross Noble! <laughs> Amelia Carr! <laughs> Jason Momoa! <laughs> and Regina King! <laughs> Do join me next week with singer Dua Lipa. Uh, Hollywood stars Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston and some great uh, British acting nobility, Sir Ian McKellen and Dame Julie Andrews. I'll see you then.